Hey, it's Matt from Time Around Music. We're checking out the MPC Key 37. This is sort of a shortened version of the already released MPC Key 61. To me, in this format, uh, I am intrigued. Uh, I really like the fact that it's now very portable. Um, there's no wasted space. Keybed feels good, workflow is good. Can I play some sounds that I've found, some synths, uh, some drum pad stuff as well, and just build up like a little loop and a jam. So um, let's get going. Yeah, so on track one here, um, I've got the uh, Odyssey synth, which, uh, yeah, you can go and grab uh, the screen here, or um, it gets assigned to the uh, Q knob as well. Um, you've got things like modulation in here as well, uh, which you do need to sort of understand how the synthesizer works to get some of this stuff um, going. Um, but on this main screen, I believe I can go and apply uh, some modulation to oscillator one. It's quite believable to me as well that that's, uh, that's um, sounding like a synth, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of pages here to go and affect things as well. Um, it's got this sort of um, Binson Echo Rec, uh, I think, uh, style um, delay. So that's also nice that it's there and graphical as well. I feel kind of in touch with the synth. Uh, going back to my uh, other sounds I've got here, on track two, I've got this um, Mellotron sound, which I think is a choir. So yeah, that's quite uh, epic sounding in my opinion. Um, yeah, you've got some effects here as well, which you could um, push this even sort of further if you wanted to. So I'm gonna make the spring reverb time quite long. If I've got the, there it is. You've got pre-delay on the um, spring reverb. I'm gonna put that in there as my um, uh, sound. So um, we're going to go into uh, whoops, grid view here and um, alright so I've got this um, sound here. I'm going to press um, record. It's waiting for me to press play. I'll press play and it'll give me like a full um, count uh, of a metronome and I'm going to play in my sound. That's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to go on to uh, a different track here, which I think I've got drums on. Um, and I'll just see if I can get that right at the top. So. some quantizing modes here because you can tell I played the completely uh, off in moments so I have to go and say uh, shift and there's time control here and uh, we'll see if we can uh, select it events and do some 16th notes do it okay That's kind of fun. I'm going to audition this now. So we'll go back to the start. I'm going to play that in. Um, here we go, three, four. Um, so that's kind of fun, um, instantaneous. 
Uh, let's see if we've got another sound to go and play with here. Yeah, let's go and have a look at this for a moment. Um, this is a thing called Tube Synth, which is another one of the built-in plugins. Uh, NPCs are actually uh, expandable, um, so you can actually go and put um, further plugins on. Um, you can drop your own samples into it. That's all I'm going to show for today. Uh, that was fun. I think that's one of the main uh, selling points of this particular synth. Um, it's meant to be like kind of quick and fast and um, you know, I feel like that's what I got going today. Um, I think the uh, all-in-one nature of this device, especially in this format, uh, makes me think this is going to be right for a lot of people. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out there who are like big NPC heads um, that have been wanting something in this sort of format for a while. So um, hopefully uh, they know about it and they uh, can come and check it out at Timer Music because we'll have it on display um, and uh, hopefully have it in stock when uh, you want to get one. So thanks for watching and um, I'll play you guys out. Mm -hmm.